Respect. It's a word we all yearn to hear in reference to ourselves. To be respected means to be valued, appreciated, and seen as a person of worth. However, what many fail to realize is that respect is not something handed out lightly, nor is it granted by the sheer hope or wish of the individual. Rather, respect is earned. It is a slow, steady cultivation built through integrity, self-awareness, empathy, and personal discipline. Without these qualities, no amount of status, wealth, or charm can maintain genuine respect, C.S. Lewis, a renowned theologian and philosopher, often spoke of the deep moral principles that guide human behavior. In his works, he continually emphasized the need for personal integrity, not merely for the sake of external validation but as an essential component of living a life aligned with God's will. Drawing from biblical wisdom and Lewis writings, let us dive into the four habits that unknowingly repel respect and how to transform them into virtues that draw admiration from others. Integrity is the foundation of any relationship, be it personal, professional, or spiritual. It is, as Lewis put it, the cornerstone upon which all respect is built. Without it, every attempt to build meaningful relationships crumbles like a house built on sand. But what does it mean to live with integrity? At its core, integrity is about being consistent in word and deed. It is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and standing firm in one's principles, even when no one is watching. Biblical wisdom places a strong emphasis on the importance of integrity. Proverbs 10 verse 9 says, Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. This passage makes it clear, a life lived with integrity brings peace, while deceit leads to eventual ruin, in today's world, where shortcuts and compromises are often praised as cleverness, holding to one's integrity can seem burdensome. The temptation to lie to avoid discomfort or break promises when they no longer suit us can be strong. However, every time we forsake our integrity, we chip away at the trust others have in us. We become unreliable, and as trust erodes, so does respect, C.S. Lewis poignantly remarked on this in The Abolition of Man, where he criticized modern society for creating men without chests, individuals lacking moral courage. He observed that people laugh at honor and yet are shocked when betrayal follows. It is this lack of integrity that causes others to turn away from us. When people can't trust our word or question our motivations, respect is impossible to earn, integrity must be woven into every aspect of life. It's not about putting on a show of righteousness, it's about embodying honesty, reliability, and courage consistently, whether in private or public. Those who do so create a legacy that not only garners respect but also serves as a testament to their character. In a world that often rewards duplicity, it is those with unshakable integrity who inspire true respect, respect from others begins with how we treat ourselves. As strange as it may sound, many of us unknowingly teach others to disrespect us by the way we carry ourselves. If we constantly belittle ourselves, settle for less, or fail to stand up for our values, we communicate to the world that we are unworthy of respect. Self-respect is not arrogance or pride, it is about valuing the divine image within us. In 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16, we are reminded, do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? Disrespecting oneself is, in a sense, disrespecting the temple of God. When we lack self-respect, we allow others to trample over us, dismiss our opinions, and treat us as though we have little worth. C.S. Lewis spoke of this beautifully in the Screwtape Letters when he said, The Christian does not think God will love us because we are good, but that God will make us good because He loves us. This profound truth reminds us that we are loved not because of what we do but because of who we are in God's eyes. If we are made in His image, then surely we must treat ourselves with the dignity and respect that reflects His love, 
Self-respect manifests in many ways, setting boundaries, knowing when to say no, and refusing to compromise our values for the sake of others' approval. It is a quiet confidence, not born out of ego, but from an understanding of our intrinsic worth. When you respect yourself, you send a clear message to others, I am someone of value, and I expect to be treated as such. The world will echo back the respect you have for yourself, and those who fail to see your worth will naturally fall away. Empathy, the ability to truly feel what another person feels, is the bedrock of deep human connections. It is the opposite of self-centeredness. When we lack empathy, we isolate ourselves in our own world, indifferent to the joys and pains of those around us. This creates a barrier between us and others, one that often leads to disdain and disrespect. Romans 12 verse 15 encourages us to rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. This simple command speaks to the heart of empathy, to share in the experiences of others, whether good or bad. Empathy is not about mere niceties, it is a courageous act of stepping into someone else's shoes, seeing the world from their perspective, and offering them genuine understanding, C.S. Lewis, in The Problem of Pain, observed that mental pain is often harder to bear than physical pain because it is frequently hidden. The frequent attempt to conceal mental pain increases the burden, he wrote. When we fail to show empathy, we inadvertently compound the suffering of others. Have you ever been in a situation where someone dismissed your feelings? Turned a blind eye to your struggles, or made every conversation about themselves? How did that make you feel? Unheard? Unvalued? Disrespected? True empathy isn't about agreeing with everyone or always offering solutions. It's about being present, listening with intention, and validating the emotions of those around us. It's about making space for someone else's story, without judgment or interruption. In doing so, we create an environment where respect naturally flourishes, perhaps one of the most dangerous habits that lead to disrespect is a lack of self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to recognize how our actions, words, and behaviors affect those around us. Without it, we become like a bull in a china shop, constantly wreaking havoc without realizing the damage we're causing, Proverbs 14 verse 8 says, The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of fools is deception. Self-awareness requires us to take an honest look at ourselves, to reflect on how we interact with others, and to be open to the possibility that we might be in the wrong, C.S. Lewis highlighted the importance of self-awareness in The Great Divorce, where he contrasted two types of people those who submit to God's will and those who are blind to the impact of their own behavior. The latter, devoid of self-awareness, go through life offending, alienating, and hurting others without ever realizing it. Think about it, have you ever encountered someone who constantly interrupts, talks over others, or makes every situation about themselves? Their lack of self-awareness creates a ripple effect, eroding the respect others may have once had for them. Without self-awareness, we cannot see the truth of our impact on the world, and without that vision, we cannot make the necessary adjustments to grow, cultivating self-awareness requires humility. It demands that we not only examine ourselves but also invite feedback from others. This feedback, however uncomfortable, is crucial for our growth. Proverbs 27 verse 17 reminds us, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. When we seek out trusted friends, mentors, and even God's word for correction, we gain the clarity needed to walk the path of righteousness. Earning respect is not a matter of demanding it from others. It is the result of consistently living a life of integrity, self-respect, empathy, and self-awareness. These virtues, when cultivated, will not only draw respect from others but will also bring us closer to the person God has called us to be, C.S. Lewis, through his profound wisdom and understanding of human nature, 
offers us a roadmap for living a life that commands respect. His teachings, grounded in scripture, remind us that respect is not given freely. It is earned through our actions, our character, and the way we treat both ourselves and others. When we live in alignment with these principles, we become individuals who inspire, uplift, and leave a lasting legacy. The world is in desperate need of people who walk in truth, who carry themselves with dignity, and who show compassion to those around them. Let us strive to be those people, not for the sake of respect alone, but because it is the life God has called us to live, in the words of Proverbs 22 verse 29, do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve, before kings, they will not serve before officials of low rank. When we master the habits of integrity, self-respect, empathy, and self-awareness,